Good morning guys, welcome back to the family of three. So we're still here in the Bay of Islands. Yep, today we were planning to go to the Treaty of Waitangi grounds and possibly have a bit of a look around the shops and just check out a couple of things before heading north. But, I don't know if you can <laughs> hear it, the weather's not going to play ball with us today. So uh, yeah, we're, we're re, re changing the game plan. So what we've decided to do is do the activities that we're going to do tomorrow. Um, we're going to be heading all the way up to Cape Reinga because it's meant to be a bit nicer weather up there. So originally that was planned for tomorrow. But yeah, so we're sort of switching it about and we'll head on when we come back, we'll head back this way. Yeah, it's about um, 2 hours 45 to get to the very, very top from the Bay of Islands here in Paihia. Um, as I say, we were just going to do it tomorrow from a bit closer, but we will basically just swap things around, so it's not too bad. The, yeah. the weather that's hitting is more central North Island, and it's just sort of reaching us where we are here in Paihia. So we are hoping that we get some better weather the further we go north. Yeah, so fingers crossed for us. <laughs> yep, and if that loose plan, yeah, we'll reverse the days. That means tomorrow we'll hopefully come to the Waitangi um, Treaty Grounds mm. and have a look at things then as well. But yeah, I think for now we're just going to plot on the weather and make the best of the day. Yeah. We've made a quick detour to the Makana chocolate factory in Kihirikiri, which I absolutely love as they have the best macadamia and brittle. And I just love coming here so much whenever we go to Kirikiri. Yeah, they do have a lot of yummy treats. Um, it is a, probably only about a five minute detour off the road we would have taken anyway. So definitely well worth coming in to grab some snacks for the day to have on the long car journey north. But yeah, we'll head on inside. They've got all sorts of different chocolate things that they make here on site. Um, we did come maybe Christmas, a little while ago anyway. And oh, we went down the South Island one that they had at Christmas. And yeah, it's really interesting that you can see how they make it through the glass windows as well. And, and just check out all the yummy goodies. We did give ourselves three goodies, we quite often do because they're always delicious. Uh, first we got the macadamia brittle, which I think was one of the ones they might have been making in there at the moment. We also got the cinnamon roasted macadamias, which we haven't tried them, I don't know, or if we haven't in a long time. So we're interesting to try them. And then we also got our favourite, which is our staple to always get, which is the macadamia butter crunch sort of. So yeah, looking forward to them as well. I think they might be the ones we'll be nibbling on first in the car. So we've made it up to Cape Reinga. The weather's not playing along with us today. It's been a bit of a wet journey up here, but nonetheless, it's been a good little trip up here. We've got some awesome pies on the way up. Good old Kiwi pies. But yeah, we're here now. We're making our way down the track towards the lighthouse itself. Um, as we're getting closer, we can definitely see it and we can see down to the ocean. So at least we're gonna get some views despite the bit of drizzle that's lingering around. So yeah, we'll take you down the track and show you when we get a bit closer. Cape Reinga, where's this lighthouse is, is actually the top of New Zealand, which is really cool as I've now been to the top of New Zealand. And last year, I also went to the bottom of New Zealand. So I've been to the top and the bottom, which is a really big achievement in my life. So behind me is where the Pacific and the Tasman Ocean meet. As you can see, it's a bit choppy there and that's where it sort of blends in together. It's pretty amazing to get to see the site and um, see them all blend together. And then we're gonna head over to the lighthouse and see the famous sign that has all the different directions.
Okay, so we've made it down to the bottom of where the lighthouse is. It's really amazing lookout and we've been quite lucky with the weather, haven't we? It is. It's holding up for us at the moment. There's just a little bit of spitting here and there, yeah. but you can definitely get some good views out over the uh, water and around the lighthouse in different areas. So mm. it's definitely still been worthwhile coming up here for a look. Yeah, the clouds are sort of um, disbanding a bit for us, which means we can actually see quite a distance out into the ocean. Yeah, I think the most impressive part for me is seeing the two oceans meet together, so that's quite cool. Mm. I don't. I think I probably saw it as a kid, I think we came here, but I can't really yeah. remember it if we did. So yeah, it's impressive being able to see that. No, but it's a very popular um, location, there's quite a few people out here um, checking out the sites as well. And we got a few photos done with the um, famous little sign saying all the different directions, how far they are from here. Yeah, we do have one of them both at the at Bluff yeah. and the set lowest of point of the South Island as well as up here. So cool that we've done that as well here yeah. in New Zealand. It's nice to have both <laughs> in such a short amount of time as well. Yeah, I think from here we're just going to take a few more photos and then make our way back up to the car. And then I think it's probably, what, it's about an hour and a half journeys back down to where we're staying tonight. And we're going to be hopefully getting some famous fish and chips um, mm -hmm. at the store down there as well. But with the, the Penini, yeah. yeah the we, weather's good. We, we're looking at some other areas. So we'll see how the weather goes as we head back in. So after Cape Granger, we made our way back down here. It's probably about 20 minutes um, to the giant sand dunes up in the far north up here. Um, you can possibly see them behind me here. They're giant. Um, they basically span right the way across and sort of through. And I know a lot of the tour companies that you can get from like Pi here and that sort of thing bring you up to both the lighthouse and to this area as well for some playing. Um, there's a company over in the car park that hires um, bodyboards and that sort of thing as well but we've actually brought some with us not sure if we're going to give it a go we're going to see what the sand's like just because it's a bit wet but yeah you can basically go up you can probably see the tracks and then make your way down sort of just sliding and having some general fun so yeah lots of fun up here it is one of the things that you can do up far north so yeah we'll head on over to the sand dunes and see what they're like So we would have loved to go up the actual dunes, but it was raining so hard that we got rained out and we also couldn't do the boogie boards on the dunes, which was a bit upsetting, but it was still lots of fun looking at all the dunes from far away. Well, I don't know if you can hear that hissing noise, but we have a flat tire. So we're now going to have to empty out the back of the car and change the tyre. So here we go. Well, what a roller coaster it has been this afternoon from the crazy weather to having a flat tire. Uh, luckily though, Jono was able to tie, um, change it really quickly so we didn't have to spend too much time in the rain. Yeah, it is the first flat tire I've had in this car. Hopefully the last, but yeah, <laughs> it was a pretty quick change. I think we got it done in about five minutes, so it wasn't too bad considering the weather wasn't with us and we were getting quite wet changing and having to pull everything out from the boot um, to make room to get it in and out. Yeah. But yeah, we did get it changed. We haven't been able to find anywhere um, today yeah. just because it's quite late in the afternoon. So we're probably going to have to uh, try and find somewhere tomorrow morning before we continue on heading sort of back down the North Island towards home direction. But yeah. Um, yeah, for now we're going to check into our little Airbnb. Um, it's just up here. It looks like a really nice spot. Um, and then we'll head out soon and grab some dinner at the fish and chip shop that we told you about earlier as well. Yeah, and hopefully the roller coaster slows down now. I know, hopefully the weather, <laughs> hopefully the weather starts to get a bit better. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go on and check out this um, Airbnb now. Okay, so we arrived at our Airbnb. Madison, do you want to show us around? Uh, sure. So in here... We have a kitchen and lounge, and we have a dining table here, of course for our dining, 
And here we have the master bedroom where my parents will be sleeping. And through to here we have the bathroom. Oh, we've even got a bath. But the best part about this place is the views we get from where we're staying. So we're directly across from the water. So it means we get beautiful views throughout all the um, windows. So yeah, I think we're gonna bring all the gear in now. Yep, then head off to the fish and chip shop. We've ordered fish and chips now and now we're going to be waiting for them to come which I'm really excited about as I always love to have fish and chips. Okay we picked up our chips, we decided to eat them indoors as the weather has been very bad. Yeah there was some indoor seating at the um, fish and chip shop but we just it was quite busy so we just decided to bring it back. Um, so we ended up getting, I got some fish with the chips as well. Um, Rebecca just got some chips and Madison got a cheese toasty. And chips. And chips and then there was also the sauce all up $30 so not too bad considering how popular and famous the place is. Mm, it's very famous this one. Yeah but I hope you've enjoyed coming along on our roller coaster of a day in the end. Yep it's not what we originally had planned but we made the most of it it's still been a pretty good day and hopefully the weather's going to be with us tomorrow. And um, we hope you can like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.